Hi guys, this is Fernando doing a video about EDC. Let's get right to it. This is the bag I am currently using. This is my current EDC bag and has uh, my stuff inside. I've used a number of bags through the years, m many bags indeed, and I've often talked about them in the blog and made reference to them. This for example is, is another bag I've been using a lot and it is good, it is a good big bag and it works okay. I'll be upgrading it, doing some modifications to it so as it's so that it serves me better. But this is the one I wanted to talk about today and it's the one I've been using these last few few months. Specifically the, the point I liked about this bag is that it's by far the most rugged bag I've tried. I've never seen anything like it in terms of how solid it is. This is all like PVC cloth combination. It's it's not only waterproof, it's noticeably thick and the, the, this sort of rubber just makes for the most waterproof bag I've come across. Yeah, I bought it just before, well not just before, a, a few a couple of months before going on holidays actually because I knew I was going to a beach location and needed something that was w waterproof, sandproof so in that regard this bag works beautifully. I, I, again, I don't remember, I don't, I, I haven't even seen or heard of a more waterproof bag. Since bags in general, you need to access them in some way, they aren't uh, exactly waterproof, but this is as close as it gets. It has a zipper that you can close it completely all over here, and if not, you just use the, the buckles you have if you if you no, don't need that kind of protection so for example if I was going to the beach and there was sand and such I was just closed completely and everything inside was protected including camera cell phones and all that stuff so well let's get started first notice that this bag is not completely full and that's one of the things I like the most about having an EDC bag having the extra space see I have my gear in inside tucked inside but I make sure I have some space as well just in case I need to carry I don't know documents something I bought whatever I just have the space and that's one of the most practical things of having a bag with you so whatever it is you're choosing whatever it is you're using make sure it's not completely full and you have some space because it could be it, it, it will probably come in handy sooner or later and since it's your EDC bag it's with you at all times all day and you need to keep in mind the daily activities you do. If if you, your daily activities require a certain amount of tools because of the type of job you do, that also is taken into account. I don't need much space, but this amount of space, this amount of extra space is enough for me. So let's see what we have inside. Again, what I love most about this bag, the ruggedness, it's... Yeah. I, I think it's called, uh, it's actually called Bomber Bag <laughs> from North Face. I've seen it also uh, mentioned as um, Base Camp Messenger Bag. It's not that popular a model, but I've seen it a couple of times on, on the internet under those names. Base Camp Bag uh, and Bomber Bag as well. The color, red, it's something that catches attention and that's not its strong point that's something I would have preferred to avoid but for an EDC bag and especially if it's something that it's gonna be taught around all day and the chances are you, you may leave it forget it in a corner or something like that when you're having lunch when you're visiting a client when you're visiting a friend uh, visible color may be an advantage sometimes also if you if you notice a uh, survival kits and Emergency kits in general have visible colors for that same reason to be more noticeable and not be forgotten and easily detected So it is a trade-off you're not as as gray man as you would be with a black or Gray or dark color bag, but it does have certain advantages at least here in South America colors are are more tropical like and it's not strange to see a guy with this if I'm using this in downtown I'm I'm just like another a messenger running from one office to another carrying stuff that's what people would think because this is the type of, of bag used for that kind of task first of all we have water posted an article recently about the importance having water so I won't go through it all over 
you just need water sooner or later it's essential for life in general so yeah I mean a few hours go by and sooner or, na or later you need water don't even get into being caught in an emergency water will be precious for for many reasons check the blog post and there's more information there why I specifically chose this uh, this canteen this is a clean canteen stainless steel it has uh, 18 ounces of, of water it's not huge but it is small enough uh, to be carried all day long something that is very big full of water it's water is usually it's, it's pretty heavy so at least I have an amount of water with me at all times I have quick cloth combat gauze and the emergency bandage why this because because of, of, of where I live uh, the risk of, of getting injured getting shot doing a robbery on the street is significant that's sad but it is the way it is and you know it's stupid to have a kid with you carry stuff and not take that into consideration I thought about it a lot and I ended up with these two which are in my opinion the best options I had in case uh, of getting shot and, and you know just bleeding there on the street to death it's not something I look forward to so I got these two quick cloth will stop intense uh, arterial bleeding uh, in a matter of seconds and it saves lives in combat so if it does in combat it also saves lives if you get shot in the street as well uh, why I know that it's a smart move to have this with you in an environment such as the one in, in Buenos Aires in Argentina well uh, when I was in in uh, my shooting club not that long ago uh, someone asked what I had inside my, my little bag right <laughs> were curious about it so they asked me and I showed them what I had and I showed them this I had like three guys ask me to please get them these just in case so as they would have them in their cars as well because it is the situation here people do get shot in the streets it's a, it's a reality and it does make a lot of sense to have something to give you just a bit of an edge in, in such a terrible situation I, I'm not kidding you I had three guys right there on the spot they were with me on the table asked me if I could please get them these the, the same bandage the same a uh, quick cloth gauze the bandage is this is an Israeli bandage sometimes called the Israeli bandage emergency bandage it has a system where it applies pressure where you need to stop the bleeding but it also has a bar that can be used as a tourniquet as well so knowing how to use these may save your life if shot if you're bleeding for some reason if you're caught in some accident and have puncture wounds hemorrhage these two can save your life and for the size of it man yeah I do make some space in my back for it uh, red sa saber red non-lethal alternative this is I bought it just a few days ago I upgraded from my old one it's a bit smaller also saber red the crossfire has the advantage of, of also working upside, upside down so they sort of explain that you use it this way shooting in the guy's face I'm not that sure about it but I just wanted one more of these so I got this one I know for for a fact that Saber Red is a good product so that's the brand I stick to Fox Labs also makes good stuff you have different alternatives you have a stream you have a foam depending on, on what you want this is what I prefer Moleskin notebook for taking notes. Here in the front pocket, I have the items that are used mo most frequently, more, more, more often. Alcohol, gel, need to refill this. Tissue paper, tissue, yeah. Disinfecting uh, towels, cleaning your hands after shooting, after working I don't know number of uses have a small first aid kit it's 
nothing really fancy about it. Uh, the stuff I would need during an emergency. An emergency in Argentina is getting shot on the street, so in that case, I have this readily available in front. That's the thing that is most easy to access for that same reason. If there is like, if I need like band-aids or to disinfect a wound, if I need painkillers and uh, antibiotics, that sort of stuff, I have some here. If I need to clean a wound, I'll do another video about exactly what it is in this little first aid, aid kit of mine. But basically, that's that's it. It's for smaller injuries, nothing that drastic as, as getting shot. There's a survival emergency kit, small one. I'll just show a bit of from what I have inside. Don't want to go into much detail because this is something that I'll also have to make another video. But I'll at least show you some more ibuprofen. I don't know what brand name it is over there in the US. Uh, mini pry bar. The emergency kit itself. It has an Altoid survival kit, headlamp that uses. This is great because having a headlamp during some situations allows you to use both hands, and, it, and this particular light works for long periods of time for 24 hours. So, having some spare batteries like I do allows you to have hours including including days worth of, of light just with that it's not very powerful but if I want something powerful I do have with me the light I carry on my pocket as EDC the 47 Quark 123 tactical light with 200 200 lumens so I'm not looking for power with that little headlamp I'm just use, wanting something to be able to see uh, space blanket, survival blanket, it's mylar blanket, whatever you want to call it, you know what it is. Some candy, half a Starbucks pack of candy, some more candy there. Flat roll of duct tape, orange juice, maybe to use in combination with water. And an extra lighter, an extra small little lighter, which you usually have to check in case it got caught and the gas leaked. Every now and then you should check, check that. Now there's one final item here. This is a face mask. It's actually a, a collapsible respirator. See how flat this is. I bought several of these. I'm using one that is already open so as to explain it and not have to open one that isn't that is still closed because I do want you guys to see how great this little thing is it has a valve so it makes it much easier to use if you have used these for a while you know how valuable it is to have this system because it keeps the mask in general uh, drier for longer periods of time it fits perfectly well it's the best fitting mask I've ever tried you have some you know, metal bands here that you know, like flex and it adapts perfectly to your face. This is by far, I have several other respirators, especially during the, the avian flu, A flu situation. These were used, uh, face masks were used in general by people. You saw them on the street, not unlike what you see in Japan when there's a flu season. So it is just great to have a face mask to protect yourself. If there's debris, well, you know it. The debris in, in case of, of, of an attack, uh, flu, so many reasons to protect your, your face and allow you to breathe when it's getting harder. So I'll, that's gonna be it for now and I'll continue with part two of these videos.